about to be crazy, but fun. <laughs> so you guys like videos, right? So I hopefully you guys will share, comment, make some make some suggestions here. So this is a reticulated python, obviously, and it comes from this comes from nowhere because it's captive born and bred. Its parents were captive born and bred. Its parents' parents were captive born and bred. So if you want to make a comment about how it should be free in the wild, I might as well warn you up front. If this is let go in the wild, it would probably die because it wouldn't know how to hunt, it wouldn't know how to hide, it wouldn't have the skin color to hide, so it would not be good. So, that being said, if you're wondering why I'm going to pull the eggs, it's real simple. She's not going to like it because she thinks, well, why are you taking my eggs? Because deep down in there still is the natural instinct to protect their children, just like you. And uh, so, she might get a little bit crazy, she might even attack me. Yeah, I know. And you guys can hit the like button right now because I know you'll like it if she does. So anyway, so the concept's real simple. We're trying to trying to have her eggs. Now, first of all, pythons are one of the few animals that actually protect their eggs. Uh, so crocodiles will sit on their crocodiles and pythons are the ones that like to sit on their eggs, check them out. Of course, the crocodiles bury them, sit on the mound, protect them. After they're born, crocodiles even hang out and protect them. Alligators. But now on a python, they just protect them until they hatch. As soon as they're done hatching, it's all over. Cameramen, be careful. We don't want you to die in the making of this film. So what she's sitting on is a whole bunch of eggs. Now regular snake, a regular snake would just lay their eggs underground or somewhere and then split, take off, just to go back to eating. She will actually not eat for three months after laying her eggs, and then she'll then usually about two to three months before she lays her eggs, she won't eat. So if you ever think our pythons look fat, it's because we're working on getting them to be able to be ha happy and healthy in between their cycle. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do right here, what are you gonna do? She's gonna bite you right now. She's gonna bite me? Yeah, why don't you tell everybody your name? Cause I don't wanna say it wrong. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> My whoa, name whoa. Is, oh, yeah, she's whoa, about whoa, to kill whoa, me right whoa. now. <laughs> My name is Jalen Jernigan, but you guys can follow me at The Real Mom. Oh, listen to this guy, he's jumping in there. Yeah. Oh, he, follow, he can follow you? Yes. Whoa, I don't think anybody can follow you. You're too running around crazy. <laughs> Whoa, there she goes. So let's see here. So so go ahead, where, where are you, where, where's your, where's your, what's your, what, follow you, what? At The Real Mowgli with three eyes. Okay, here we go. So let's see what we got going on here. Hopefully you guys can follow me too. So this, this right here is what you call Python. Wanting to protect her babies like I said she would. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be a little you need to stay a little bit clear because I she really can actually hurt. I think I'm kidding that from the bike on last week. Well oh, you wanna kiss me right here, don't you? Come on. Come on, come on. So this this right here is what you call Python. Wanting to protect her babies like I said she would. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be a little you need to stay a little bit clear because I, she really can actually hurt you. Come on. Come on, come on, I almost got it. it doesn't look like I almost got it, but I do. So, she, I can tell she's not really full-heartedly wanting to get me, but she's, this is not one of the major tame snakes in our, in our location. We're at the reptile zoo having a good time. This, but this is Python 101. Pulling eggs, so I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna try my best to keep her a little bit occupied. Come on, girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. So, come on, come on, girl. So the idea is that I get her to go off her eggs without getting me. I don't like to do it this way, but usually if they don't have a target, they won't bite. You want to push that box down? Yep. Oh, here she comes up here. This is how I get bit once in a while on the elbow. That was her head I'm holding back. So not every egg is fertile. Here, set that over there. Got it. We'll keep pushing down the back of that box. Help me out. Yeah. So these eggs can't roll around. And so, whoa, come on, girl. Look at that. She wants to say hi. <laughs> now she's acting a little bit, a little bit uh, preoccupied with other things. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't have you get bit. If I get bit, it's no big deal. Okay, I'll survive. Yeah. Okay. Come on, girl. She's really, really. So it looks like we got quite a few infertile eggs. So not every egg is fertile. In the wild, a lot of these eggs would never make it. Uh, most of them would probably, most likely less than one would survive the whole ordeal to adulthood. Uh, of course, if one of, of every, if every time one of these python laid eggs, everyone made it to adulthood, can you imagine how many pythons there'd be? They would be on the most non-threatening list. 
instead of being on the threatened list. And uh, <clears throat> because these pythons lay a lot of eggs for a reason. They're like an insect. Insects lay a lot of eggs because a lot of things eat them. Well, that's the same way with pythons. So, of course, they don't eat them when they're big. They eat them when they're small. So we're going to get rid of those infertiles. We're going to grab these. Now, you notice they're all stuck together? Look at how they're all stuck together. That is an incredible design portion of how the eggs work. Because if they roll around, they don't do well. So they just come glued together. How that worked out is beyond me. Uh, evolving to glue together is kind of weird to me because evolution is supposed to work on things that to make them better, but how can they survive? Because if they roll around, they die. You want to hand me a paper towel? Yeah. I'm going to clean them up. So the idea that we're doing to put them in an incubator is to give them a consistent temperature uh, and the right humidity, per, like per, perfectly, better than they could even in the wild, because in the wild, of course, they might have a dry period or a rainy period. And uh, so, of course, in an incubator, it's a completely controlled situation. So. Anyway, I don't know how many eggs we're going to have, but I think we're not going to get them in one box. So I think we're going to have to go down here and grab the second box right here. Tim, Tim takes care of the breeding. Hey, say hi, Tim. <laughs> and uh, Tim takes care of most of the breeding. I sometimes, sometimes I'm here and sometimes he isn't, but at the end of the day, somebody's here to make it happen. And uh, we took a little bit of hiatus from it. And we're gonna have a lot of eggs coming. How many clutches we got coming, Tim? Lots of videos coming, lots of reptiles, snake videos. Uh, we got like 20 right now. We got about Getting 20 close. clutches coming. And uh, we got a couple in the incubator. We're only a couple weeks away from some really cool, really cool babies coming. That's of making everything just right. So the bottom of these are really, really dirty. I don't know why, but that's normal but not normal to us. We like to keep them clean if we can. And uh, so we're gonna pull these apart. How many eggs you think we got? Come on, comment right there. Let's see what you guys think. Look, there's another infertile. So infertiles are when the, infertiles are when the, for one reason or the other, either the male or the female. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 35, 36 eggs. Hopefully out of this clutch, we'll get somewhere around 30 to hatch because some of these look a little bit dirty on the bottom. But you know what? You can set your clocks right now because from today, because you're gonna actually buy tomorrow because we're gonna post these videos tomorrow, we'll have a number on it. March 7th. And there you go, there you go, you guys. So get ready, March 6th, Tim's already done the math. But before then, you guys better be subscribed and turn on your post notifications. And make sure you share this video so we can get some more love. Appreciate all you guys' follow, and we'll see you soon, right? Yep. Don't forget to follow this guy either. Thank you, guys. Peace out.